So this is the Polaroid 600 SE. It's kind of one of the top of the line Polaroid cameras they make. They actually commissioned Mamiya to make them um, this camera body with three lenses. So it comes with three lenses. I've got two of the three. What we have here is the 75 millimeter, the 127, and then they also make the 150. Um, when you use the 75, you have to use this uh, viewfinder that just goes on top here. So that way it's, uh, you can see the, the shot because with this Polaroid, it only has a switch on the back to view the 127 or the 150 through its standard viewfinder. This doesn't have internal light meter, so I usually have an external light meter with me in the case. A Mamiya background glass to get accurate focus, uh, a cable release, an extra back. So if you're using maybe two different kinds of film, you can have different backs so you don't have to go through one and then reload. Um, I have here a set of close-up lens, close-up filters that go onto the camera lens, um, a fluorescent uh, filter to, so if you're indoors and you got fluorescent light, uh, since this film is all daylight balanced, um, that way that would compensate for the fluorescent greenish light. And then I have a self-timer, a mechanical self-timer that goes where this cable would go on the lens so you can do uh, just a self-portrait or whatever a selfie Polaroid style so we have those um, and that's pretty much my basic kit for shooting with this camera okay so let's go ahead and get this guy set up all right so this is the Polaroid 600 SE it's loosely based on the uh, universal universal press camera which is the body looks almost identical um, everything looks almost the same. The only thing is the mount is going to be different. And then the backing here, the backing is going to be different. It's going to be uh, the way it mounts on the side here. It's going to be different on both sides. So that way they're not really interchangeable uh, for the most part, um, especially the lenses. Those you can't interchange. That's why Polaroid only made three and that's all they have for it. This right here, the button will release this comes off and then we put on the 127 which would be I think like a 50 equivalent in the Polaroid for the size of the film on the back um, the backing here has these latches that you just push up on both sides and then this comes off and it's pretty much just a box is the way the Polaroid is. And um, you can put on whatever back you want, uh, depending on what kind of film you have in it. So that way you can shoot a few frames of color and then go to black and white or go to an expired roll, whatever you want. Um, and it goes on pretty easy right here with these latches, they just go up and down. And that's what locks it in. So then we just put this back on here. Like that. And then push these down on both sides locks it in up here is where you have uh, a, a lever that show what kind of lens you have on there so it's either the 127 or the 150 so we leave it on the 127 and then it's pretty much self-explanatory this right here connects the release you just connect it right there to the side of the lens And then that's pretty much ready to go. Um, this would cock it. And so now then we could fire it from that button and actually fire once we're focused and we get our shutter speed and our aperture set over here. And then we can adjust the shutter speed right there to get that. And then if you go all the way down here, it's got a bulb setting. Um, of course, you wanna always remember to take out the dark slide so this is what's gonna have the film so you can shoot it. And we wanna make sure we get that out. So whenever we're ready to go, we're gonna pull that and that'll let us be able to expose the film.